Hey, it's me again. I want to show you a couple of things that I'm doing. So, if you buy apple cider vinegar, stop it. Here's an easy way to do it. I think I had a video before on how, but here's how it's going. This one right here is going to be ready to transfer just like these bottles were transferred on the 10th of this month. But just go ahead and look and you can see the acidity in it is when I push it down a little bit. Look at all those bubbles. So that's working off very good. It has a nice color. And here's two different batches. These two are in their final stage of finishing off. This one, that's uh, Granny Smith. And this one is a Fuji apple. This Granny Smith will be ready on the 27th. But this one, it's ready on the 10th. So I tasted it. And yes, it is very strong. Very strong. It's a, you know, just a real strong apple cider vinegar. So if you're still buying apple cider vinegar, you might want to give this a try. It's very easy to do. You know, it just sits and it does all the work for you. Okay, here's the update on my German cabbage. So this is red cabbage and also it has apples diced up in it. This will be ready probably within about five days. Very sweet. Uh, you can eat it with uh, beef and everything, so it's uh, really good for you as well. So if you have any questions, uh, just let me know. And this right here I planted two days ago, and look at it already. I know Nancy said that she's having trouble with hers, so I'd like to see what she's doing with it sometime. I'm not too fond of the romaine and the way it grows, but this one right here has been going for two weeks. And you can look and see how dark green it is. Very, very healthy. So I just put a little bit of Epsom salt in each one of these and, you know, it feeds very well. Bye. Say bye.